Amid speculation about an upcoming federal election, the B.C. Conservative Caucus met in Penticton to discuss local issues and election preparedness. We caught up with four Kamloops and Okanagan Valley Conservative MPs to ask them what's on their mind. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that no one wants an election. Uh, we were certainly prepared for it in my riding, but right now people are worried about having their kids return to school. People are worried about uh, you know, how they're going to uh, transition from the CERB. And so the focus is not on ourselves, it's on those families. Uh, if Mr. Trudeau wants to saber rattle, we'll be ready for that. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I would hope that the Prime Minister would be focused on helping people through this pandemic rather than helping his friends or helping his party uh, electorally. That's not how our democracy is supposed to work. But our focus is, is helping individuals, helping businesses, and that's what our entire focus is as we're meeting with a lot of different organizations here uh, with the BC Caucus. So a, a lot of the government programs aren't working or you know they might have worked for a little while and now they're not working again. So that's a matter of, of us listening uh, so that we can make further recommendations. We heard today that there's labor shortage issues. Uh, we heard today about tax issues. Um, we heard about uh, interprovincial trade issues. And so we can definitely, uh, we've made a lot of recommendations already on those fronts to the government and we need to keep pressing for those. You know, certainly the economic recovery and the health crisis, I mean, that's going to be not just my riding, but across the country. But importantly, I represent a, a rural area and Kamloops and the forestry crisis, the softwood lumber, um, you know, the having an economy and continuing to care about the resource economy is critically important for communities like mine. We heard uh, about labor issues and although, you know, the CERB was a very necessary program, we're hearing about how there's challenges for people in industry to actually get workers. So I think our ability to listen to the people in the communities really helps us to put together thoughts and ideas about how to help. In my riding in North Okanagan, Shushwap, the key issues right now are employment uh, issues. Uh, we've heard from farmers, from business owners who simply can't get people to come to work to fill the shifts. Uh, we've also heard from a lot of people that are falling through the cracks because the programs that have been opened up haven't been well thought out by this Liberal government. So we're looking at how can we change those programs, how can we make them work for those people that are impacted by COVID on both ends of the scale, the employees and the employers. Farmers aren't able to hire Canadians. They just, for some reason, Canadians don't want to do um, or, or aren't coming to those farms. And yet some of those jobs are quite specialized, um, well, well paying, and it's not just a, an entry level job for a lot of these people, but they, they can't seem to bring Canadians to into that kind of work. So how do we incentivize people to work rather than disincentivize people the way this government has through some of their programs. Uh, and we need to make sure our voice is heard. So we often will deliberate on which issues that we need to push on and advocate on when we're in Ottawa. So uh, Penticton's a great place to be to start that. The caucus met Friday and Saturday in Penticton, a riding currently held by NDP Richard Cannings. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.